The Great Architect of the Universe also Grand Architect of the Universe or Supreme Architect of the Universe is a conception of God discussed by many Christian theologians and apologists. As a designation it is used within Freemasonry to represent the deity neutrally in whatever form, and by whatever name each member may individually believe in. It is also a Rosicrucian conception of God, as expressed by Max Heindel. The concept of the demiurge as a grand architect or a great architect also occurs in Gnosticism and other religious and philosophical systems. Hinduism equally hails the creation of undoubtedly wonderful architecture and engineering. Topic: Christianity. Topic. The concept of God as the great architect of the universe has been used many times within Christianity. An illustration of God as the architect of the universe can be found in a Bible from the Middle Ages and the comparison of God to an architect has been used by Christian apologists and teachers. Thomas Aquinas said in the Summa, "...God, who is the first principle of all things, may be compared to things created as the architect as to things designed ut artifacts ad artificiata." Commentators have pointed out that the assertion that the grand architect of the universe is the Christian God is not evident on the basis of natural theology alone but requires an additional leap of faith based on the revelation of the Bible. John Calvin, in his Institutes of the Christian Religion, 1536, repeatedly calls the Christian God the architect of the universe, also referring to his works as architecture of the universe and in his commentary on Psalm chapter 19 refers to the Christian God as the great architect, or architect of the universe. The concept of a great architect of the universe also occurs in Martinism. Martinist doctrine is that the great architect must not be worshipped. Martinists hold that while it is possible to invoke him, it is not to adore him. <laughs> Hinduism. In the Hindu mythology, Lord Vishvakarman is regarded as the god of architecture. He is the supremo of craftsmanship, perfection engineering. Vishvakarma meaning all creating in Sanskrit is the deity of the creative power that holds the universe together according to the Rigveda and is considered to be the original creator, architect, divine engineer of the universe from before the advent of time, also the root concept of the later Upanishadic figures of Brahman and Purusha in the historical Vedic religion. Hindu scriptures describe many of Vishvakarma's architectural accomplishments. Through the four yugas eons of Hindu mythology, he had built several towns and palaces for the gods. Among them were, in chronological order, Svarga heaven in the Satya Yuga, Lanka in the Treta Yuga, and Dwarka Krishna's capital in the Dwapara Yuga. Freemasonry Masonic historians such as William Bissy Gary Leeser, quoting Coyle S. Masonic Encyclopedia, and S. Brent Morris, assert that the Masonic abbreviation GAOTU, meaning the Great Architect of the Universe, continues a long tradition of using an allegorical name for the deity. They trace how the name and the abbreviation entered Masonic tradition from the Book of Constitutions written in 1723 by the Reverend James Anderson. They also note that Anderson, a Calvinist minister, probably took the term from Calvin. S. Usage. Christopher Hafner's own explanation of how the Masonic concept of a great architect of the universe, as a placeholder for the supreme being of one's choice, is given in Workman Unashamed. Now imagine me standing in lodge with my head bowed in prayer between Brother Muhammad Bikari and Brother Arjun Melwani. To neither of them is the great architect of the universe perceived as the Holy Trinity. To Brother Bikari he has been revealed as Allah, to Brother Melwani he is probably perceived as Vishnu. Since I believe that there is only one God, I am confronted with three possibilities. They are praying to the devil whilst I am praying to God. They are praying to nothing, as their gods do not exist. They are praying to the same God as I, yet their understanding of his nature is partly incomplete, as indeed is mine. 1 Cor 13 12 It is without hesitation that I accept the third possibility. The Swedish rite, which has the prerequisite of professing to Christian faith, uses the form, the threefold great architect of the universe. 
Topic: <laughs> Hermeticism. Topic: The great architect may also be a metaphor alluding to the godhead potentiality of every individual. God that invisible power which all know does exist, but understood by many different names, such as God, Spirit, Supreme Being, Intelligence, Mind, Energy, Nature and so forth." In Hermeticism, each and every person has the potential to become God, this idea or concept of God is perceived as internal rather than external. The great architect is also an allusion to the observer-created universe. We create our own reality, hence we are the architect. Another way would be to say that the mind is the builder. Rosicrucianism In Max Heindel's exposition, the great architect of the universe is the supreme being, who proceeds from the absolute, at the dawn of manifestation. Gnosticism The concept of the great architect of the universe occurs in Gnosticism. The Demiurge is the great architect of the universe, the God of Old Testament, in opposition to Christ and Sophia, messengers of Gnosis of the true God. For example, Gnostics such as the Nasorians believe the Pira Rabbah is the source, origin, and container of all things, which is filled by the Mana Rabbah, the Great Spirit, from which emanates the first life. The first life prays for companionship and progeny, whereupon the second life, the ultra makayima or world constituting Eon, the architect of the universe, comes into being. From this architect come a number of Eons, who erect the universe under the foremanship of the Manda Deheya or Gnosis Zoes, the personified knowledge of life. <laughs> Others James Hopwood Jeans, in his book The Mysterious Universe, also employs the concept of a great architect of the universe, saying at one point, "...lapsing back again into the crudely anthropomorphic language we have already used, we may say that we have already considered with disfavor the possibility of the universe having been planned by a biologist or an engineer, from the intrinsic evidence of his creation, the great architect of the universe now begins to appear as a pure mathematician." To that Jinarajadasa adds his observation that the great architect is also a grand geometrician. For in some manner or other, whether obvious or hidden, there seems to be a geometric basis to every object in the universe. See also Brahman Creation myth Intelligent designer Names of God Topic. References Topic.